Hello everyone. My name is Anil Kumar. I am a product manager at Couchbase. We recently announced a developer preview of our next version, Couchbase Server 4.5. Today I am going to talk about a new tool, Query Workbench, which was introduced in developer preview. If you are new to Couchbase, Couchbase is a distributed operational database that enables you to develop with agility and operate at any scale. Couchbase can be used as a managed cache, as a key value store, a document database and on mobile devices as an embedded database. Let's talk about the Query Workbench. Put simply, Query Workbench is a robust query visualization and development tool. It has some unique capabilities such as it can infer schema from JSON documents which are usually schema-less. Also this tool is fully integrated with Couchbase Web Console. Let's take a look at the different stages in query development. Exploring data, to write a query, you need to know the schema of the data. Active development is where you start writing complex queries to solve a business problem. Running tests to make sure your queries run without any errors and they are actually performant. And finally the query maintenance operations. Here is a screenshot of the query workbench within Couchbase Web Console. You will find three sections, nickel editor, bucket analysis and result window. Let's take a look at each of these sections and functionality provided within them. So what does bucket analysis provides? It lists all the buckets installed on the cluster. Buckets are grouped based on whether it has a primary index or a secondary index or no index at all. The fully queryable buckets lists all the buckets that has primary indexes defined. When you expand the bucket, Infer Schema provides you with different flavors of schema available within that bucket. It shows you with the different fields and its data type information. Buckets that does not have a primary index but has a secondary index defined will be listed in the category of queryable on indexed fields. Similar to fully queryable buckets, Infer Schema shows the different flavors of schema available within these buckets. And lastly, buckets that does not have any index defined will be listed in this category, non-index buckets. You cannot query these buckets. You will get an error message to create a primary index first. Now let's take a look at the cool features provided in the Nickel Editor for active development. Auto completion is a very useful feature that speeds up the query development tremendously. When you press the tab key on editor, you will get a suggestion for nickel keywords and document field names and so on. One another useful feature in query history is the query history. When you are writing multiple queries and executing them, you want to keep a history of all those queries you have written so that you can go back and refer to them or even save them. Query history provides you that capability. You can traverse through the history using the, the front and back arrows at the top. When you execute a query, it's going to fetch the query result set from the server. By default, the result limit limits the number of result set to 500 records. That default value can be changed. Saving the query is one another important feature. You can choose to save the queries so that you can refer them later or use them in your application. Save query saves it in a text format. So far, we have looked at the data exploration, active development and running tests. Now, let's take a look at the data results. Results are shown in three different formats, JSON, table and tree. JSON format is a default result window. You can also expand and collapse objects and array values using the small arrow icons next to that line numbers. With every query execution, the execution stats are displayed on the, on the result window itself. Also, if you want to save the results, you can save it in the JSON format. In table output, the results are presented in a tabular format tool converts the JSON documents to HTML tables. Table output is great for visualizing results in tabular format. Lastly, the tree output, where the results are presented in a tree format. 
in this case out of out of each sub objects or sub array is displayed as a sub list list itself tree output is another way to make the data easy to read all right i hope this talk was useful uh, please try out the 4.5 developer preview uh, here are some of the useful links to documentation developer portal and downloads page let us know your feedback uh, you can also reach me directly at anil at couchbase.com. Thank you so much.